The Bahamian government has spent more than $7 million on cleanup efforts following Hurricane Matthew so far. But for large sections of New Providence, Andros, and Grand Bahama, the devastation still stands. Labor Minister Shane Gibson is heading the repair and recovery efforts in the aftermath of the October storm. Gibson says some cleanup efforts have been hampered because there's just one dump site on New Providence, resulting in a lot of illegal dumping across the island. As of late last month, about 7,000 homes on the islands largely affected by Hurricane Matthew have been assessed for repair assistance. Gibson said the donations to the government's relief fund now are about $1.5 million. With repair efforts extending into the new year, government officials are still unable to provide an official price tag for the efforts, even though many contracts are about to be signed and a large number of them are nearing completion. When asked why the recovery process seemed to be stalling, Gibson said he wanted to put the systems in place first to make sure that at the end of the day, they were able to fully rationalize and explain and justify all of their actions. He said they would have loved to have walked out of there in one day and have everything finished, but he said, unfortunately, in the real world, it just doesn't happen that way. Gibson continued saying that NEMA, as it was constituted, was not in a position to handle the repair and restoration at the level. When you look at the volume of destruction that occurred throughout the country, he said, so we had to strengthen NEMA itself and also strengthen the policies and procedures that govern how we go about executing contracts, trying to bring assistance to those that qualify for it. The Bahamas are often thought of as a small country, but it's actually over 700 islands on 100,000 square miles of ocean. If you're interested in supporting the Bahamas recovery efforts, monetary donations can be sent to the Red Cross, Atlantis Relief Fund for the Bahamas Red Cross, or to the Sandals Foundation. In addition, you can drop off supplies at several locations across South Florida. We'll have those complete details on our Facebook page.